my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. So good to have you guys here. If you're new here, welcome. So glad to have you. Okay, so today's video, I have a TJ Maxx makeup and beauty, makeup and beauty haul. And I'm really excited. I love these videos because I love going to TJ Maxx. I love to buy makeup and I also love to get sales. It's just kind of a thing. <laughs> and so TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Ross are kind of like that because I can get good prices and I can buy makeup. It's, it's a perfect little harmony <laughs> for me. I mean, not for my, my wallet, but you know, what else? So, um, I also love to see what I can find there because I watch other people's YouTube videos like um, Leah Janae and Le Le no Leora Makeup Loves. I watch their TJ Maxx hauls and I'm like, ooh, I'll see things that they do. And they're in other parts of the country. So I can see what they have and be like, oh, is that at my TJ Maxx? And sometimes it isn't. Actually, most of the time it isn't. Sometimes it'll get there later. But it's always just fun for me to, it's like a little treasure hunt. And you have to be careful when you're there because there's a lot of things that people swatch. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why people come to Ross and TJ Maxx and then they like, are like, oh, I'm just gonna put my finger in this. No, don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, you gotta be careful. You gotta check and make sure things aren't swatched. All right, so let's see what I have here. I am going to start with some lipsticks. Becca went out of business. Although her best sellers, the highlighters and the under eye corrector got sold to Smashbox. But everything else you cannot buy from Becca anymore. Unless you go to TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls. It's, there still is a lot of Becca stuff at TJ Maxx if you want to still try out some Becca products. And it'll be there for a steal because it can't be sold anymore. <laughs> so what I have first is a Becca lipstick. And it is in the shade Petal, and it was $5.99. It says compared to 10, but it's never, like that compared to price is uh, not usually very accurate. So I think it is just, and, and you can see it is, like there's, it hasn't been swatched. It's very clean. So that is what I look at. I look at to make sure it's clean before I pick it up. Anyways, so that's just a really pretty, like I feel like it's my lips but better kind of color. I do actually, okay, I did put on some lipstick this morning, but that was like four hours ago and I haven't touched it up. Anyways, maybe it'll be very similar similar to that. So I'm excited. I think that look should look really pretty. And I've heard that Becca lipsticks are just really pretty. So glad to have that. I will put the original prices for all of like, it'll be hard to find Becca because they're not sold anymore. But I'll try, I will try to find the prices that these are sold for originally or online in my description box. Um, the next lipstick that I got is from Lipstick Queen. And I got this one for $4.99. And this is the original, it's called, um, the shade is Highway 66. It's the original of like the Lipstick Queen ones that it is, in, and I really like these. I know a lot of people don't like them, but it's like the color changing, like based on the pH of your body, it changes a different color of pink or red. I, see, is that? I feel like they just always turn pink on me. Obviously my pH isn't changing, but I feel like they change pink on everyone. Um, but I think it's fun. I think it's, it's like a lip balm because it's really moisturizing. And then it also shows up with color. So I like it, I think it's fun. I used to get these, they had these color changing ones from Essence and I used to buy, I bulked up on them because Essence is such a good brand and has such good prices and then they stopped selling them. So I ha I still have a few of those, but I thought it would be a good idea to pick up um, this lipstick queen one. Fun. Okay, next. Uh, I probably shouldn't have got another mascara because I have a lot of mascaras, especially a lot of open mascaras, but it was like, it's like a plum color. And I love plum, I love purple. You can see it, it's in my eyes right now. This is just one of my favorite colors to wear because I feel like it contrasts with my green eyes really well. So it is from Maybelline New York and it is the Snapscara in the shade Black Cherry. So anyways, I didn't put it on because it's obviously still in its case, but it's supposed to be this kind of like burgundy, maroon color. 
I love it. I have a blue mascara that I got um, from Benefit and I've, I, you know, I, I kind of have always wanted a purple one. And so this is like purple without being like a bam. It's like a burgundy purple. Anyways, that's my excuse. Okay, so then next I have two Laura Mercier products. I've never bought a Laura Mercier product from like Laura Mercier or Sephora. I've never bought it for the full price before. I don't know why. Cause I really, I, it, it's just such a luxury brand and it's so pricey that I never have like bit that bullet and, and bought it anywhere besides TJ Maxx. So that's what I have here. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. So I, <laughs> I really want the La Mercier Translucent set, Setting Powder that is like viral and is, everybody uses it, everybody loves it. It's $39. And, um, so I haven't bit, I haven't, I haven't got that yet because I have other setting powders. So why would I, but this one is actually, it says it's a highlight. So, um, if I ever do find that translucent one at TJ Maxx, I am picking it up. You better believe it. Um, but this was $12.99 from TJ Maxx and it is just a very pretty, subtle kind of, I feel like a subtle highlight, like a baked highlight. Very pretty, like that. I think that it's like a grown up highlight because I like to really shine and sparkle. And this is like, it shines and sparkles, but it's not like blue or purple like ones I sometimes wear. So this is very pretty, I'm really, really excited for that and it has a really nice mirror so yes beautiful um $12.99 i will put the original price in my description another laura mercier product um this is a foundation primer it is the radiance she has a couple of different versions of her foundation primer she has like a a matte one um a radiance one other ones for different kind of skin types and um since my skin has been kind of dry after Accutane. I have, I was like, let's get the Radiance one. Let's, let's get it to make my skin glow. So anyways, this one was $9.99 at TJ Maxx. And I believe obviously it's a lot more on her website. And it's just a really fun primer. Let me, and you can see like it hasn't ever been used. This is, it's, it's the little things in life to be excited about, right? right here and it just glows a little bit, just a little bit, like a subtle glow underneath your foundation. So if you have like a really matte foundation and it's too matte for you, you can put on a radiant primer to just kind of balance out that matte. So um, next thing I have is from Becca and this is a sunlit bronzer in the shade Maui Nights. It was $12.99. I don't have a Becca bronzer. So I was excited to pick up this one. I don't know if it's 100% my shade, but Sometimes when you go to TJ Maxx, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Like that's what my kids say. So there is a little swatch in there, but that was me. <laughs> I promise, nobody else watched it. It has a nice mirror. It is a little bit shimmery and glimmery. I think it's okay. It's a little bit red, a little terracotta. Um, but I feel like that, it means it can kind of be like a bronzer. It can be work as a bronzer and a blush, so. Um, it's really pretty. I don't think it's too dark and it's a little shimmery and I, I, I kind of like my bronzers to be shimmery. Um, I have been gathering these products over a few trips to TJ Maxx. This is not one trip to TJ Maxx. So you can see here, I got the elf sun kissed booster drops. So I actually picked these up this summer. Um, and I haven't opened them cause I was saving them for this video. And now I realize that actually, it might be better to use these during the winter time because I'm not going to be getting a tan. So he, I can make, I can kind of give myself a little boost, a sun kissed boost during the winter or you know, whenever. It does actually look like it's not very full, but you know, it's in this box. I'm pretty sure nobody used it. A little sun kissed bronzer. I feel like I have this that I got from and a boxy charm, the Isle of Paradise. I feel like it's very similar to this. It's nice to get these things. Like Elf is already a pretty affordable brand, um, but then you get it at Ross or TJ Maxx, and you're like, 
that's a steal, $2.99. So I will put the original price for that in my description. Are you sick of me saying that yet? Okay, then NARS. I love that you can get NARS at TJ Maxx because NARS is a very pricey brand. Yes, you the stuff there are usually like, right in this case, they're really crazy colors or just like things that uh, they have a lot of overstock of. But I kind of like crazy colors. I think they're fun. Um, so this is in the shade, it, um, Gaiety, Gaiety, G-A-I-E-T-Y. Anyways, the shade Gaiety, and it's a blush, obviously, and it's a hot, like, bubblegum pink. So, um, I also bought this during the summertime. Should have worn it during the summertime, and now it is October. But I feel like it's a really good spring and summer blush. So I will be putting that away and pulling it out in the spring and summer. Anyways, that one was $12.99. And it's like a full size. Full size NARS blushes are pricey. Okay, then I got a brush. I I don't know, I feel like some people's TJ Maxx's have tons of brushes. Mine, I always am looking around and I'm like, am I missing like the, are they on the, on the end of the aisles or are they on little spinners somewhere? Like, am I missing where the brushes are? Cause I, and I go to like three different TJ, Ma TJ Maxx's around Utah. Um, and so I don't, I don't know. I just can never find where the brushes are. So I actually only found this one because it was in the clearance bin. And uh, I always check out the clearance section. There's always, you know, the clearance section is in TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is already clearance. So the clearance bin in the in a clearance store, it's usually pretty messy. Like there's usually broken product and then the product is all over everything. So it's messy, but sometimes you can find some winners. And I feel like you did. So this is a Oh, I don't know. I, uh, that is another, there's, there's some, some things. I don't know what language that is. So I'm not even Janeka, Janek, Jav, Jovek. It's some sort of brand. I don't know. I've never heard of it, but it says that it's made in Italy. So, and beauty design since 1830. I mean, come on. They've been designing since 1830. You think I would have heard of them? That's okay. But I got it for $3. So it's just a really, I feel like that would be a really good powder brush because it has these longer bristles. So it'd be good for spreading powder on. Yep. Anyways, really excited about that. That seems like a really luxury brush. Anyways. Okay. Last but not least, this is the, this is the product that I got the most recently. Um, Anastasia Be Beverly Hills subculture. Okay. So I realized that when this palette came out, it had really bad reviews. <laughs> like apparently, um, I kind of slept on Anastasia Beverly Hills for a long time. This is my third Anastasia Beverly Hills of her um, 14 pan palettes. And I kind of, they're so beautiful. And so I've been trying to kind of get more of them, but not at full price. So I got one during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I got one randomly this summer, and now I have this one. And this one was $24.99. So it's a little bit more than half off because this one I know, they're $45. So a little, it was 20 bucks off, which I feel like is a pretty good price. This is like a really, really beautiful fall palette. You've got these greens and mustards and browns and burgundies and teal. This is like a perfect fall palette. So yeah. This may have had some bad reviews, but I haven't tried it yet and I'm excited to try it. And it has just the most gorgeous fall colors. I'm, I'm, and there's even a purple down here at the end. This looks like a duochrome. It, it, I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Even if it had bad reviews, I haven't reviewed it yet. <laughs> okay, so that is everything I got from TJ Maxx. And I will leave the prices of everything that um, the original prices for everything in the description box. So I hope that you liked that haul. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked watching me, um, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be reminded of my videos, because I, I don't think even if you're subscribed to me, I'm pretty sure that YouTube like you know, it wants to share everybody that it can. So I don't know if even if you're subscribed to me, it won't put me on your homepage. It'll put me on your subscription page whenever I do a new video. But if you want like a like a 
a, a notification that I did a video, push the bell. Anyways, I do new videos every Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Or I post them every Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. So um, check it out. And just remember the most important thing to be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day.